All right. Good afternoon, everybody. It is Sunday here. We are uh, getting ready to do our pre-trip here on the Mac. Uh, we're going out to our plant in East Greenville today, and we are uh, should be load. I'm sorry, delivering in Harrisonburg, Virginia, in the morning. So uh, the truck's been sitting all weekend. Definitely needs a once over. Um, I need to get it washed. It's disgusting. It's embarrassing. Um, I'm not happy. I'm not even going to show it to you because that's how dirty it is and I'm ashamed of it. So I'm going to uh, pop the hood here and get the uh, fluids checked and we'll get it fired up, let it air up while I unpack uh, my pickup truck and get all the food and uh, clothes in here and we should be good to go. So the, this brush guard just kind of unlatches. That falls down. And then the hood latch for this, these trucks are right here. It's just like a, like a car. And it opens up. Got our fuel filter here. Uh, still looking pretty good. Once the fuel uh, level gets up to this black line, that's where it needs to changed again. That means that all of the this part of the filter is plugged up, and it's not drawing any fuel through it. And then it gets up to here, and that's when it's time to change it. So our uh, windshield washer fluid could use a top off. Our coolant level this is minimum and maximum so it's just above there we're good there let's get over to the other side and get the oil check. I got so the oil dipstick right here it's looking good clean it off down in oh yeah okay it's good there um, Nothing else uh, over here. We just check the pulleys, make sure the fan's good and secured. Uh, we go through our checklist that's on our tablet and uh, just a basic pre-trip. So we'll get her fired up now and uh, let everything warm up. Okay. Let it go through its progression. All the electric systems. All right. Of course, the air pressure is low. Uh, you can see down here, these are the two gauges for that. It'll run on a high idle by itself for a little bit until it gets uh, warmed up and then it'll come back down you'll hear it kind of fluctuating uh, one thing guys you might notice on my truck is it doesn't have the, the big air cleaners here like like the uh, other models do what happens is the air comes in these two sides into there which then goes down into the uh, air cleaner the air filter right there so that comes back sits down on there and then that's how the air uh, gets into the into the engine so that quick we're already uh, aired up enough we have uh, here we can actually go through our computer 75 and 73 on the primary and secondary so those will warm up 65,159 miles. We'll go through. Uh, 2895 was last week's minus a good bit because I forgot to uh, to reset it. So we'll go ahead and reset it now before we leave. Oh, wrong button. Go to here. Reset. Okay, and this keeps track too, guys, of 
how much fuel we use, um, how much, how long it takes, the duration, then the miles per gallon, and then the average speed as well. So let's get out, we'll get that hood down, and we will uh, click our lights on here. Make sure our fog lights on, four ways, and then our rear work lights just to make sure they work. And we'll get the bags and the lunch box out of the pickup and get them up in here. All right, guys, we're ready to uh, push off here from uh, our parking spot. Let's... Have a little bit of a rough time pulling out right here so we're gonna click the uh, power divider in so we don't spin any tires lose our traction just the way the parking lot is kind of asphalt to stone and chunks are missing and everything it's real easy for it to uh, to miss Click that off now. Right. All right, guys, we're sneaking up here to the uh, uh, toll booth. Let's get on the Pennsylvania Turnpike and go uh, east. got loaded with 6,000 gallons on Friday so we're gonna have a tough uh, tough drive ahead of us with the surges that we have or that we're gonna get it's unfortunate but it's what it is I guess frustrating because the guys that, that load you think they're doing you a favor by not giving you so much weight but what they don't understand is that you know this surge is more of a pain than just uh, you know chugging along super heavy so we're only 77,000 pounds so we had three more thousand to uh, to play with there definitely could have topped this off a little bit more and, and made our ride a lot smoother, a lot safer. It's really windy here today, uh, 62 degrees. We had a cold front come through uh, yesterday. it into the 40s past two nights all right guys made it through the Somerset tunnel about 37 miles to get to Breezewood Uh, overcast. 
overcast, pretty heavy overcast today. Uh, the speed limit coming out of that tunnel is 55, guys, all the way down here to the bottom of the hill. Like 129-ish. Uh, these cars, I guess, don't understand that. I don't... windy you can tell the trees are, are blowing pretty hard their uh, leaves are flipped over seeing the undersides of the leaves sign at 1.30. Now we're back up to top speed again. We'll try and build our way up here. 58 or so. Alright, made it through the uh, Breezewood interchange here. We're at the 161. Start climbing the hill and uh, keep on trucking.
Harbor's favorite fishing hole. Pretty good and the big grills on them big fancy grills some guys don't like but vans that might need washed out they have a uh, the third lane for that that way they don't hold up the normal line here Some places, some of the blue beacons that I've been to, they will uh, get you in and out, you know, uh, maybe 15 minutes, uh, especially for just a tractor. Um, some of them, like, are, you know, half hour, 45 minutes for the whole uh, tractor and trailer, just depending on uh, how bad it is. I was gonna stop for fuel here at this uh, Flying J, but I think we're gonna head up here a little further. Uh, maybe even wait until tomorrow. I'm not 100% decided yet. So we're going to uh, keep on going up. This is uh, Hamburg, PA. This is where the Cabela's is over there to the left. been in that store we've always gone to the uh the wheeling one down in uh west virginia right there along interstate 70 but you can see that big american flag on the other side probably guess what that is then the rv world camping world they run those uh flags in all of their locations enormous american flags now look, this car is going to pull out in front of us, even though we couldn't move over. Okay. All right, guys, we are uh, parked here for the night. We got our loaded trailer dropped down in the small lot, the, sh the lower lot. We're hooked into the one for tomorrow. We'll catch you then.